Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have a very impressive attacking game for you played by Vasily Ivanchuk against Sergei Karyakin. The game was played at 2008 Umber tournament. This was a rapid game and Ivanchuk started with e4, c5 by Karyakin, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes, d4, knight takes, d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, Karyakin goes for knight or variation and Ivanchuk is choosing the Fischer souls in attack bishop c4. e6 was played, bishop b3, b5, bishop g5, bishop e7, queen f3, queen c7, of course all this is a theory, and e5, right now black rook is under attack. Bishop b7 was played, and now instead of moving away his queen, Ivanchuk is first capturing on d6, counter-attacking black queen, and only after bishop takes d6 we see queen e3, bishop c5, white castles queen side, and knight c6. We have reached the critical position, and in this position Vasily Ivanchuk made a shocking decision. You won't believe, but he captured on e6 with a queen. Look at this mighty queen sacrifice. This is simply astounding. Karyakin accepted the sacrifice and captured on e6. Now comes knight takes e6. Let's see, but where is white's compensation? Queen e5 was played and white is also capturing on g7. And now this exposed black king is going to become an easy target for white pieces. King f8 was played, knight e6 check and king f7. Well, if black tries to keep away the king from this dangerous diagonal by playing king e8, in that case black king can be targeted from the e-file. If queen takes e1, then knight c7 check and then rook e1 check and then knight takes a8, this knight is also hanging, this is going to be a total destruction. That's why after knight e6 check, black responded with king f7. But again we see rook e1. Now the queen is under attack and Karyakin decided to give back the queen by capturing only one. But let's have a look. What if for example black tries to save his queen by playing queen f5? Then white can capture on c5 by giving a discover check. If king g6 then bishop takes f6. Now if queen takes f6 then rook e6 can be very unpleasant. And if a move like king takes f6, then knight e4 check, and then knight e6 check, these knights are simply very dangerous, and then rook d6, it's hard to believe that black can save this position. That's why after rook e1, Karyakin captured on e1. But first, instead of recapturing, we see this Tsvishantsuk, knight takes c5, discover check, and only after king g6, we see rook takes e1. Black captures on g5 and in return we see knight takes b7. Looks like the storm is over and white has 3 pawns and a bishop against a rook. This is of course enough, even gives white advantage. Knight d4 was played, knight d6, rook f8, f3, b4, knight e4 check. We see the exchange of knights on e4 square and black also captures on b3. Actually white pieces were cooperating together very successfully, that's why Karyakin went for several exchanges in order to simplify the position. Right now the pawn on b4 is under attack, that's why a5 was played. Rook g4 check, king f6, knight e4 check, king e5, rook h4, the rook is coming after the pawn on h7, a4, b takes a4, rook takes a4, knight c5, rook a1 check, king d2, rook g8, g3, first protecting the pawn and after rook f1, king e2 was played, rook b1 and white is also winning the pawn on b4 square, king d5, knight e4, king c6 and here we go h4, rook h1, black is trying to create some counterplay with two rooks, but of course white's position is actually very solid and soon these mighty pawns are going to be a serious problem for black pieces, c3, rook a2 check, king e3, rook e1 check, king f4, now white managed to centralize his king and this is becoming more and more dangerous, white rook is again going after the pawn on h7, rook a8, rook h6 check, king b5, knight d6 check, not even allowing black king to occupy the c4 square, king a4, and then rook takes h7, king b3, 
rook c7, rook d8, knight f5, and finally Koryakin resigned. Actually, there is no way to stop these pawns, and this is simply over. Belek has no chances to survive. A very impressive queen sacrifice, I think. Let's have a look at that queen takes e6 move once again. Here it is, after knight c6. Ivanchuk delivered a surprising thunderbolt and captured on e6, after which things escalated quickly. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this insane attack. Here are more suggestions for you and for more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck!